Lefty has only appeared in a few games, but one of those games is one of the most lore heavy ones in the entire Five Nights at Freddy's franchise. Meaning although we haven't seen much of Lefty, there are lots of spooky facts to know and learn when it comes to this animatronic. Welcome back my fellow gamers, this is Top 10 Gaming and I'm your host Amanda McKnight. Today we're going to be taking a closer look at the frightening Lefty, and just where he came from and who exactly he is in the greater scheme of FNAF lore, as we count down the Top 10 Scary FNAF Lefty Facts. If you love FNAF, you need to check out one of Connor's newest videos by clicking on up over here. It is Top 10 Tastiest Animatronics, and it's brilliant. So tasty. Which do you think will be crowned the tastiest? And as always, be sure to stick around to the end of this list where I will have some bonus content coming your way in the form of comment responses. Alright, now let's get counting. Number 10, Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator. Lefty first appeared in the sixth game of the franchise, Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator. He is one of the few animatronics you find in the back alley and can salvage for spare parts. This doesn't sound so scary until you play FNAF 6 and realize just what salvaging entails, and you get to see this state the Lefty is in when you find him. Salvaging an animatronic for parts is usually done when that animatronic is no longer considered to be worthy of saving or repairing fully. So you can imagine just what kind of state the animatronics you find and can attempt to salvage from that back alley are in. Not good. Nightmarish. There's another aspect to your end of day routine. Number 9, Unknown Origins. When you find Lefty in the back alley, the Cassette Man voice recording will share that we do not know where this Lefty came from, as it does with all salvageable animatronics. So what was this messed up version of Lefty up to before it made its way to our establishment in Pizzeria Simulator? Well, Lefty is also an animatronic that you can find in the auction catalog, and has a rock star look to him, implying that he might have been an animatronic from another franchise location who maybe escaped. Also, if you collect him and all of the Rockstar animatronics, you get an achievement for that saying that you put the Rockstar ones together. So. You can assume he's part of the Rockstar crew. Because his first appearance, however, was in FNAF 6, Pizzeria Simulator, much about his past beforehand remains pretty unknown. So much of it is still relegated to theories and speculation. Although we do get a pretty good, uh, pretty good little bit of intel in this game if you can find it. A little Easter egg in there. Number 8, Rockstar Freddy? Well, Lefty definitely has some Rockstar Freddy vibes going on, literally looking like a black and red version of Rockstar Freddy down to the shape of his body, he has some slight differences in his appearance. Namely, his nickname Lefty in part comes from the fact that he holds his microphone in his left hand, whereas Rockstar Freddy holds it in his right hand. As I stated previously as well, we don't know Lefty's origins, though it is believed that he was invented or at least modified by William's partner Henry, with the sole purpose of luring and capturing a certain animatronic within him. But which one? Will Amanda tell us more facts? Stay tuned to find out. Number 7, but first you'll need to lose an eye and an arm. Okay, so Lefty doesn't actually have any specific relation to Foxy, but I just like that song that Foxy sings, and I like Foxy, and I thought it was fitting, considering that Lefty does seem to be missing at least an eye, although he's still got an arm, so he's not quite a pirate yet. I'm not sure if it is because he got in a scrap with Foxy or if he wants to be a pirate or if he was perhaps just designed that way or just not kept in good working order. But his missing eye is pretty freaky, especially as the empty socket and eyelid are still very visible there. The only thing that would be more creepy in my opinion is if he managed to be missing both and still operate somehow. Something about an animatronic with their eyes just like gouged out staring deeply into my soul just really gives me those spooky feels. Number 6, High Risk, High Reward. You'll notice as you acquire items and attractions in Pizzeria Simulator that there is a liability risk with certain items. If you find a lefty and manage to salvage him, you will earn a net profit of $5,000, which can obviously buy you lots of goodies from the catalogs for your pizzeria. However, if you simply want to acquire your own lefty for your restaurant, you can find him for purchase for $5 in the Rare Finds auction catalog. Yay! But also, yikes. Lefty is a super high risk item, proving just how dangerous of an animatronic he is. He has a risk rating of 9, but he also has an entertainment value of 9. 
So high risk, high reward indeed. His liability risk rating gives you the impression that he increases your chance of a lawsuit, simply because he is one of the most likely animatronics, I guess, to attack and possibly kill customers or employees. And he'll also then be free to roam at night and potentially kill or torment you while you attempt to complete your nighttime tasks. Although really the worst case scenario there is if you try to salvage him and he escapes. Then you don't get any money and lots of liability. Number five, aggressive. If you do choose to salvage Lefty when you find him in the back alley, be warned he can be aggressive. And if he gets too aggressive, he will jump scare you. You will live, but this will mean you miss out on that $5,000 reward you get for salvaging him and mean that he is now loose in your restaurant just waiting to attack you. Not ideal. Number four, mysterious. Lefty has an interesting personality when it comes to his behavior. He is very stealthy and creepily quiet, choosing to the players before he speaks. Even though you obviously weren't saying anything, why is he shushing? This makes his dialogue more creepy and just makes him a more frightening animatronic in general when compared to some of the others. Not just in Pizzeria Simulator, but also compared to other animatronic casts from previous games. Number three, actually it's left E. Lefty might seem like a cute name for an animatronic. It's catchy and seems pretty innocent, right? But Lefty's name isn't really that innocent when you look into it. Lefty is actually just a nickname for this shiny and fancy animatronic. His full name is actually a lot longer and doesn't have a Y at the end. Lefty is actually Left E with an E at the end. Or really, if we were saying it how it was spelt, Left, which is a lot less exciting and isn't actually a complete name for him. As I said, it's a lot longer than you think because Lefty is actually an acronym for Lure, Encapsulate, Fuse, Transport, and Extract. The acronym of course was used to create the nickname Lefty, which is much less suspicious and scary sounding. We find out the truth behind Lefty's name in the blueprints that can be found if you manage to unlock them on the computer in your office. Number two, the puppet within. While we don't know a ton about Lefty's backstory, something we do know is about the surprise inside of him. The surprise being another animatronic that we've become eerily familiar with since FNAF 2, the puppet. Possibly one of the most terrifying animatronics of all time. Let me know if you are also terrified of the puppet in the comments below. So yeah, with Lefty, it's like two animatronics for the price of one. The horrifying puppet and the super bone chilling whispery Lefty. Yikes. In fact, that is what Lefty's acronym of a name refers to, the fact that the puppet is encapsulated within it. Lefty appears to have been created to lure and capture the puppet so that Henry could ensure it would return to the pizzeria and he could finally free his daughter's soul trapped within it. Number one, music to soothe the savage animatronic. Because Lefty is actually controlled by the puppet, who is in turn possessed by Charlie, Henry's daughter, it's unsurprising that we later learn in Ultimate Custom Night, where Lefty also appears, that music helps to calm this animatronic. Noise and heat agitate Lefty, but to avoid Lefty getting aggravated and jump scaring you, you can turn on the global music box. However, this will drain your power more quickly in Ultimate Custom Night, so it's usually not something you want to leave on all the time. However, this makes a lot of sense for Lefty to be soothed by the music box, which is what keeps the puppet from waking up in FNAF 2. Thank you so much for watching. Do you find Lefty terrifying? What are some of the theories you have about this animatronic? Do you think we'll see more of Lefty in the future in the FNAF games? Perhaps they'll make an appearance in Security Breach. Because who knows where that will take place in reference to the timeline? Who knows where so many things are on that timeline? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And speaking of comments, it's time to turn to some comments from one of our latest videos, Top 10 Scary FNAF Chica Alternate Versions. Benjamin Amudahan writes, Toy Chica's the scariest. The cutest ones are always the creepiest. Trust no one. Wow, I completely agree with you. The cuter the animatronic, the more terrified I am it's going to try and tear me apart. I'm watching you, plush foxy that sits on my desk. I'm watching you. King B responds, watching this while eating chicken. Chica, I'm sorry. Oh no! <laughs> as long as you don't do that in front of Chica, I feel like she would not like that very much. She might hold it against you. Purple Guy William asks, 
Is it bad that anytime I hear the name Susie, I think of FNAF and specifically Chica? It's not bad per se, but it might mean you're playing too much FNAF or you simply don't personally know many Susies. Because if you did, I feel like you would associate the name Susie with them and not with Chica. And that's all the time we have for comments today. Be sure to comment below for a chance to have your thoughts and feels shouted out in a future video. This has been Top 10 Gaming and I'm your host Amanda McKnight, reminding you to keep on gaming on. Pew pew!